All right, so today is day 11 of my two months of no shopping. So no clothes, no shoes, and nothing. So um, anyway, but I thought I would kind of just give you guys like an update of what I bought since January, since the last video that I uploaded was back in February. So um, anyway, so this will include like some stuff that you know, I've been gifted, some stuff I bought. Um, actually starting with these pants. So technically these, I got the, these back in November of 2023 because I got a bunch of stuff in Japan actually, but like this sweater from Adidas. And these pants came from, they, they're called GU or some, they could be called Goo, I don't know, but they're from Uniqlo's sister company. And they were $12. Yeah, brand new. $12, they came in like three different colors. I should have got all three. Um, but yeah, so those are the honorary mentions from, from November. Anyway, moving on to January, and I'm gonna clip this on my shirt. I hope it doesn't make a lot of sound. Um, so back in January in, in New York, I picked up this Theory coat. And have not worn it as much as I probably should. But yeah. It's kind of like a charcoal, it's like a more of like a raincoat, but yeah. Really like this one, this is a great find. And I also picked up this Theory jacket, which is gonna probably serve more for travel. What else from January? Um, picked up this jacket. And the store that I got this from is called Century 21. Not to be confused with the real estate company, but it's called Century 21 Brands. Um, I, I can't, they resell like a lot of the kind of like stuff that didn't sell at other retailers. So they kind of I think buy it. I don't, don't get me to guess on how their business op of operations works. But anyway, this is from one of their brands. It's called Research Code. Um, and it's like this cool kind of patchwork wool jacket that I did not wear enough during the wintertime, but I will wear it this year. Um, but yeah, I also picked this up in January. So, so now that takes us into... February and in February a friend of mine so I put on my Instagram story I was looking looking at getting a floor length coat um, but a friend of mine he makes clothes so he's he's based in DC but he makes clothes and he's like oh dude I got you so this was that did such a great job. Oh, the place is, um, this brand is called Capitol Hill Clothers. And yeah, he did a really great job. He even let me. So this is what I wanted to do. Like a Monaco old race, um, racing kind of poster. A friend of mine gave me these double me these double RL jeans that have like the this really cool patchwork on the front of it. And they, had, they actually fit me really really well. Also from double RL. And I can't tell if I got this in December or if it was also January but I got this really cool tie and I'll throw up a picture so you can see what it looks like on the model because I just can't tie right but I got this really cool tie from double RL that I can't wait to wear this spring and summer. All right, so we're at the middle of February. Um, this brand called Aton, E-T-O-N Shirts, reached out and asked if I would be interested in receiving one of their, kind of, I don't know if it's limited edition, but like one of their shirts that they did with the Beatles. And if you look closely, you can kind of see, it's a take on the um, Abbey Road cover where it's like the guys were walking through the streets but yeah so this shirt was gifted and I also did a post 
four that I will link up here as or um, pop up here somewhere but um, so yeah so let me change into the next thing I got back in February all right I'm just I'm not gonna be able to pronounce that but yep, here it is this is the lounge shirt and I know that the pants have a name to them but um, I think they're just like tailored um, I think they're also the lounge pan too. Anyway, if you go on the website, you'll be able to see what it's called, but yeah. So this also got sent to me back in February. Obviously couldn't wear it because it was way too cold outside to wear something like this, but yeah, now that it's warming up, I will definitely have this on probably a lot. All right, so now that leads us right into March pickups. And I bought this extra small essentials shirt from um i think it's from Saks. Yeah, i picked up this essential shirt i can't wait to wear it once it gets warm enough outside for it but um yeah so let's move it on okay so i also bought my very first amelie on door item um with this t-shirt um so yeah i really like the length like the crop on this um and also i love the color which you probably can't be able to can't even tell on the camera because of the lighting but it's like this eggshell it's not white but it's not cream it's like right in between there so yeah another good pickup that i bought for spring that hopefully i can wear soon getting into the most recent pickups i mean like, like the past i want to say two to three weeks and this shirt from Sandro. Um, I got this from the outlet store when I was in Vegas. Um, I just really love the print that's on it. Um, and I don't have a good answer why. I just, I saw it and I immediately um, fell in love with it. So, yeah, pick this up. It's very flowy. I think this is more for summer. But a friend of mine was like, no, you could wear it for the spring. So this gave him more spring. But I thought it was for more summer. So we'll see. It'll be 81 degrees next week. So it'll be like summer. But I wanted to wear it. Um, okay. And I also picked up. All right. Also picked up from the outlet store. Um, the Gucci outlet store in Orlando. I got this pink padded shoulder blazer. Um... And don't I don't know what provoked me. Actually, I am weirdly on this kick of trying to collect as many pieces from the Harry Styles and Gucci collection. Um, I don't even like Harry Styles. I just like he put together a really good collection. Um, but yeah, hopefully the camera can pick it up. But I'm wearing the pants from the same collection, and I'll probably pair it with this blazer because I think. I need to be as ridiculous as possible. Um, if, like, if you're going to do it, you know, do it. Which is going to describe this next item that I'm going to show you. All right, I'm sure the camera will be able to pick these up, but yeah. So these are from Bally, the outlet store in Vegas. Um, a friend of mine said that these are like Fred Flintstone pants, and. There's a set that I can't get that out of my head, but they are tiger print. Let me show you. They are tiger print suede. Um, and it's a little big in the way, so on my next trip to New York, I'm gonna go to this tailor who did a really great job on um, the other pair of pants I wanna show you in a second, but yeah. All right, folks, so these white 100% cotton pants um, also came from the Gucci Harry Styles collection and yeah would just serve as some great pants I could wear almost anywhere all right so really quick ones to show you guys these Western Wrangler jean um, pants that a friend of mine gave me and I had them refitted and now they fit like a, a, a glove um, I don't know the name of the place in New York but I'll have to find it I'll, I'll probably make a video the next time I go there but yeah, the way that they did these pants, you can't see the seam of where they cut it all. They did a great job, um, which a friend of mine also pointed out was like a really hard thing to do. But anyway, picked up these also in March 
and looking forward to wearing them this month. So, okay, these would be kind of hard to see because of the black carpet that I have in here, but these are black, almost, let me get the camera. And these are like a linen cotton blend, but they're really long and very just loose and like flowy. So they're really long, they're very loose, flowy, great for spring, summer. Um, I'll probably be wearing these all summer long. So definitely we'll have more outfit ideas that I'll post for you guys on here. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.